You know who I am. You know exactly who I am. Alright, what's up YouTube? Now this one is about uh, pretty much hacking the NPC software to make it what you want it to be. Um, what I mean is, um, say for instance, like you want to make the course in the actual NPC software uh, a certain way. Um, let me see if I got it. I might have switched it back because I want to actually show you guys how to how to do this. Yeah, I actually did. So, um, let me. Well, actually, we just go ahead and do one together real quick. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is something like uh, Photoshop or some kind of editing software. Right now, all I have is uh, 3D Paint. So, um, I don't know where it says. Let's pull out this image, go to 3D Paint. All right. Now, the first thing you want to do is you just want to get the image by itself. So, you cancel out the background. We're just going to pull up the image. So now that we got an image, we're going to set that to the side, make it a sticker. And that's pretty much it. So we got it over here in the sticker uh, box or whatever. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to delete the rest of that off the background. So uh, delete that real quick. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to canvas. We're going to make it invisible because we want to be able to see through the background. We just want the image by itself. If you leave the image on that way, when you put it in the software, you're going to actually see the image on the NPC software. You don't want that. You want a clear background, so all you get is the image. So now go back to sticker, pull it back in, and now we're going to have to, we could leave it like this, but usually in my experiences, you get a better experience with it sideways like this just like the uh, pencil is in the NPC software it's sideways so we're just gonna narrow it down a little bit fit this in the screen and we'll leave it like that alright now that you got it like that the only last step you have to do is you gotta go over to canvas and you gotta set your measurements usually for the uh, coarser on the grid, it's usually about 15, 15. So real small object. So put it 15, 15. Now the only thing you gotta do is come in here, do a save as, we'll save it as image, make sure it's PMG. And we just gonna save it as the same thing as I wanna get rid of this, so. All right, now we got the fire image. So you should come out with something looking like this. Now I'm going to close out the NPC software. All right. Now what you got to do is you got to go to the actual NPC software uh, folder. So what you want to do is you want to go to program files, a car pro, NPC, resources, ACVS, graphics, Go down to share. That's where your your coarser arrow is gonna be for the grid. So as you notice, it's called coarser slash pencil. So I want to keep this. So just in case, you know, you want you might wanna you might not like your 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 thing. So you know, in order to go back to that, you're gonna need this. So. Let's keep it to the side. We'll put it in this folder. And I already got one down here already labeled. So that's the one we just made, but I'm not going to use that one because I already got one made. So make sure you label it coarser slash pencil. Throw it in here. It's going to recognize it and put it back in the same spot. Now that we got that done, go into NPC software. All right, now once we hit that pencil, you got the fire emoji. You feel me? So, I mean, you can pretty much uh, make your course or whatever you want to make it. Uh, I think I got one more. It's like a pink bomb. 
Uh, make another folder real quick. Alright, now we're gonna go back. Profiles, the Cop Pro, NPC, resources, graphics. Then we're gonna go to shared. And we're gonna pull this one out. Put it right there. Go get a pink bomb that I made. Put it in. Continue. Boom. Back out of that. Then all you gotta do is just close down the NPC software. Back up. It's coarser. Boom. Got the pink bomb. Feel me? So I mean, I also um, edited this part right here. As you notice, like on your NPC software, you're probably not gonna have this black, you know, right here. I did that too. I mean, you can pretty much edit all these top buttons up here. Uh, you can edit the uh, the knobs. Um, anything that they have inside the NPC software, you can you can edit. The only thing that I couldn't find is like the uh, the background color right here. If I can find that, then I can do some crazy shit. But you know, um, if anybody out there knows the the layout of the NPC software a little bit better than me, and they know how to find this uh, this grid area right here, let me know because I got some plans for that. But without further ado, I got most of coming. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, I'll make a, I'll knock out about two or three videos. Uh, who knows? We'll see. But till then, I'll see you later.